Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another video at my YouTube channel and blog. Today I'm going to be showing you another lettering piece. This is actually a card that I created last week. Um, I haven't done a lettering piece or anything that's just lettering on this channel in a long, long time. So I thought it was about time to do something like that. So I'm actually going to take a piece that I've created digitally on my iPad and I'll be using a light tablet in order to see the design and then I'll be recreating creating it on some watercolor paper. I'm going to be using some Tombow markers. This is one of my favorite techniques to do with Tombow markers and I hope you enjoy all the blending and the different tips for that. I first created this lettering piece within the Procreate app on my iPad Pro and then I printed it out and I made sure that there was a line around it that was 5 by 7 I'm now using some Fabriano Artistico Extra White cardstock or actually watercolor paper, and I'm going to place this over the top of my piece that I already have designed, and then I'll be using some blue painter's tape just to tape that in place so that as I move my paper around that that watercolor paper is going to move with it. So I have this light pad here by Hu Yan, and I'm turning off the lights in my craft room so you can see the light coming up from below. And I'm going to be using some Tombow dual brush markers. This is from the Galaxy set. I'm using the colors 606 and 725 as well as N00 which is like a blender pen. So I'm going to go over this entire piece drawing on using the pink marker right over the top of my design and I'm actually going to uh, keep this portion of the video in real time so that you can see how slow I'm writing because I think one of the things that was almost like an eye opener when I was learning how to letter was when I realized how slow people do calligraphy and lettering. They really slow down. Um, a lot of people say, I really like your handwriting. And I always, you know, I feel like correcting them saying, well, it's not handwriting, it's calligraphy or it's lettering. Because to me, with the handwriting, that's like just pure writing, writing out quickly, you know, whatever. But when it comes to lettering and calligraphy, um, you are drawing each letter and it's slowed down and you're really being methodical and thinking about those letter forms that you're writing. So I think to me that is the main difference between handwriting and calligraphy or lettering. Um, if you're drawing each letter form and uh, make, making sure that it's beautiful and getting it just right, that is what differenti differentiates between those terms. So this portion, I'm showing it in real time. When it gets to the actual blending of the two different colors, I'll be using that blender pen, and um, you want to only add the, like the purple color uh, for just a few letters, and then blend those, and then work in batches, because if you did it, do it all at once, then that marker can dry, and then it's harder to get that color to pull up and start mixing. So um, that's what you're going to see in this next little clip, and I will speed up the blending portion of the video just because that took a really, really long time. I got you You got me We are too Too lucky Emily, your name spells home Since the day you were born You have always known When I need you the most Oh, 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 my best friend got sent my own good fortune. You know, you are my double flame whisper, my soulmate sister. You know, you are. 
you're just as happy Remember when you were five Every day by my side Some tailwind The years pass I'm still the same What will it take Why the way Up and down I'm losing ground Pretend to tell me what to believe I ain't got a sweet tooth for lying
After the main lettering piece was complete, it was time to assemble the card. So I'm creating a card base that will be folded into a finished size of 5 by 7 And then I'm taking some Tombow Extreme Adhesive and applying that very, very close to the edge on the back of my watercoloring piece or the, the lettering piece on watercolor paper. I want to make sure those edges are adhered down nice and firmly uh, when I put it down onto the card front. So I'm lining that up and it turns out that this watercolor paper was just a little bit smaller than my card base. So I just lined it up against the fold and then used a ruler and a craft knife to cut off the little bit of extra cardstock that was hanging out from underneath the watercolor piece. So that's my lettering piece all blended with those two colors using pink and purple. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Um, I've done this technique a couple of times in the past. So on screen, I'm going to put two more videos for you to check out where I show some different blending with Tombow markers. I hope you guys enjoy. Before you go, give this video a thumbs up and let me know that you liked it. And if you think you have a friend that would love this video, go ahead and hit that share button. I would really appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in another video very soon.